Hey guys, what's up? This is Brandon coming to you again. Lifeway. Bible study? There's something in here that I want to read to you. Living with hope in a broken world. Hope comes in lots of sizes and shapes. We hope our investments in financial planning will pay off when it comes time to retire. We hope this next diet will be the one to get us back on track. We hope the candidate we elect will make a positive difference. We hope the weather will be perfect for our upcoming vacation. While we might feel confident that our hope is well placed, such hope is never certain. People disappoint. Circumstances change. Christ, however, is faithful and unchanging. When we place our trust in Him, we gain a hope like no other. Because the believer's hope rests in Christ, we know our hope in Him cannot be shaken. Therefore, we can approach the questions and challenges of life with confidence. Our hope in Christ gives us courage to stand strong in a broken world. Our hope in Christ sets us apart from the rest of the world and how we face suffering and how we respond to difficult circumstances. And it ultimately gives us a platform to share God's goodness and hope. When your hope wavers or when you're tempted to place your confidence in earthly things that disappoint, how can you remain anchored to Christ as your hope. Whether in suffering, pain, prosperity, or contentment, learn to place your hope in God alone and testify of His hope to the world around you. Living with hope in a broken world. That's the topic of this, what I just read to you. Living with hope in a broken world. Where do you place your hope at? We have to place our hope in something that's going to be concrete. That ain't going to go nowhere. God ain't going to go nowhere. We, we, we're we the ones that venture off when things get better. But when things get worse, where do we come back to? We come back to the foundation. We come back to the concrete that is still there. And that's God. Key Key things in this, I want to read back to you. We might feel confident that our hope is well placed. Is it well placed? People disappoint. People are going to disappoint you. I hate to tell you, people are going to disappoint you in this world. Circumstances are going to change. This is going to change. Christ, however, is faithful and unchanging. He ain't going nowhere. He's still here. He's been here. When we place our trust in Him, we gain a hope like no other. In Christ, our hope in Him cannot be shaken. We can approach challenges of life with confidence. In Christ, we can face stuff, obstacles, roads. In this world, with confidence, because we got Christ. If you live in without Christ, how can you have confidence that you can overcome this world? How can you overcome the devil? The devil is going to get after you if you ain't got Christ in your life. And the ones who live without him, I don't know how you do it. Our hope in Christ gives us courage to stand strong, strong, strong in a broken world. Our hope in Christ sets us apart from the rest of the world and how we respond to difficult circumstances. Listen, hey, learn to place your hope in God alone and testify of His hope to the world around you. Listen, the world that we live in right now is tough. It's a broken road. That, that the world's traveling down right now. Um, and the end 
of the road is really blurry. I don't know what's going to happen. Neither do anybody. I mean, the kids are about to start school, or so we think. I hope they do. I mean, right now, I just went back to work. Um, am I going to stay working, or are they going to furlough me again? Listen, we, we don't know. We don't know the outcome of, of whether, you know, we're going to have stuff in stores this week. Or are they going to run out? Is the pandemic going to get worse? I mean, you got a vacation plan in a couple weeks. Are you going to be able to go to it? Or are they going to cancel stuff before you get there? We don't know. But what we do know is Christ, God ain't going nowhere. Place your trust in Him. It starts with one thing, believing. You got to believe. I don't know your circumstance in this world, but if you're listening to this, it's going to get better. No, it's not easy, and it won't be easy. Day to day, circumstances change. People disappoint. But hey, listen, I don't know where you're at in life, but change direction. Go to a different route. If the people around you are making you make mistakes, and if they're not a good influence on you, change direction. Go a different route. One route that you need to take is with God. Take that route. Because He is always there. He's always going to be with you. Thank y'all for listening to this. And think about it. Living with hope in a broken world. Let that sink in if you read this. Thank you for watching. And have a good day. God bless you. And watch my other YouTube videos. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about some of this some of this information I'm giving you. God puts it on my heart, so I'm going to give it to you. Thank you all for listening. Subscribe to my videos. And keep on keeping on. God bless you all. Have a good one.